Raquel is with us. She is in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Hi, Raquel. What's up? Hi, Dave. Thank you for taking my call. Gosh, I'm so nervous. It's okay. okay. We haven't never, um, we've never lost a patient. What's up? <laughs> um, I filed for bankruptcy last week, and oh. I have a uh, rent-to-own house. Mm-hmm. Like I, The contract is pretty much rent-to-own. Um, is there any chances that I can lose the house? Like, I, all my payments are up to date and everything. I kept the house and my car out of the bankruptcy. Um, did you file Chapter 13 where you're paying payments in the bankruptcy or Chapter 7? It's Chapter 7. Okay, you didn't keep anything out of the bankruptcy. That's impossible. Everything goes into a Chapter 7. Now, what can mm-hmm. happen is you can reaffirm the debt, re-sign for the debt on your car, and uh-huh. re-sign, re-sign for the debt on the rent-to-own if the lender will allow it. They normally oh. do. Okay. And so okay. Uh, what do you owe on your car? On my car, I owe 13000 What's it worth? Uh, 10000 Why would you keep something that's $3,000 in the hole? Um, I just didn't, like, it's a... Um, like, I can pay it off, like, pretty quick. Like, if I don't have... If you can pay it off pretty quick, payment. why did you file bankruptcy? Right. Well, if I don't have any uh, credit card payments, I think that I can make it pretty quick. What do you make a year? Uh, last year, I made uh, 60000 I would recommend you turn the car in and the bankruptcy and buy you a cash car for $3,000. Yeah. Okay, um, another question about the You're car. not going to um, do that, are you? <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> well, the thing, I... Yeah, I, yeah see, she's I, that. that yeah, yeah, that's not going to work for me, dog. Oh, bad. Um, so the deal is, um, if, if you're going to keep a bunch of debt, you shouldn't file bankruptcy. Nope. You should let the debt go if you're going to file bankruptcy, and you've already filed. And so I would not do what you're doing. I think it's a bad choice, and um, I think you're going to come out of this... With a, uh, without the, you know, the, the, without the freedom that you sought when you were after bankruptcy. So making making sixty thousand dollars though, and she filed bankruptcy on a credit card. We debt. don't know how much the credit card debt is. Nope. But the uh, no. So the answer to your question is, you should be able to reaffirm the car. You shouldn't, uh, and you should be able to reaffirm the rent to own. And I don't know if you should because I don't know the numbers on that. Both of those are at the lender's option. Meaning the lender, could, the the landlord on the rent to own could decide not to allow the reaffirmation, but um, when you file bankruptcy, everything you have is in it. Whether you list it on the matrix or not, it's technically part of the bankruptcy, and you need to get reaffirmation on it. And if your lawyer didn't tell you that, uh, you got one of those lawyers. Now, Dave, on the rent to own part, this is uh, education for myself. She's still renting, so. Does she still have to get that reaffirmed with her just only the renting? The owning portion, the, the contract. O- okay. The contract. Yes. Even if you're a renter, um, you are you can bankrupt on your landlord. Oh. And the landlord, if you don't pay the rent and keep the rent current and then agree to... Because see, any legal money obligation you have, or uh-huh. most any legal money obligation you have, is released. Okay. Okay. And that would include rent. I did not know that. So you're out of your lease. Wow. If you, you know, you could break the lease in the bankruptcy, in the bankruptcy. And, and not owe a dime. Uh, but if you want to re-sign the lease yeah. and, the, and, you're not, and you are current and the landlord wants you to, then that's fine. And if you want to re-sign the to-own portion, Person. leasing with an option to own uh, portion, then you would do that as well. Gotcha. Most of those, you're paying more than you would be paying in rent mm-hmm. to be an owner later, which you shouldn't be doing in if you're broke. Place. Yep. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be doing it at all. Yeah. It's not a good plan generally, but don't do that if you're broke. So the thing is, if you're broke enough to file bankruptcy, don't keep a car payment <laughs> and don't keep a, 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 a extra high rent right. because it gives you the possibility of owning later. Yeah. So what she's trying to do is just get rid of the things that were bothering her yeah. and keep, keep the other things, which were actually the things that are weighing her down mathematically. Yes. And that's why you're not listening when I'm telling you what to do then you're not going to get the result you want out of this yeah. Yeah. because you can't, you know, it, you, the credit cards are the ones calling her and pestering her, but the big freaking car payment at the high interest rate and the overcharged rent for the rent to own are what are draining her bank account. Yep. 
And those are things she's so probably you, you carrying know, on. You smack the mosquitoes and the bear, bear eats you. Yeah. You know, instead of shooting the bear and not worrying about the mosquitoes. Yeah. That's the problem. And that's what happens oftentimes. We go in and reaffirm everything. And, of course, child support, IRS, student loans, uh, alimony are yeah. not bankruptable anyway. Right. You're going to be with them. They're going to be with you forever anyway. And so I've had people that file, you know, they got a $28,000 IRS lien mm-hmm. uh, that's not bankruptable and $5,000 worth of credit card debt and they want to file, file bankruptcy, bankruptcy. <laughs> and it doesn't you know you're, you're, you're swatting at mosquitoes and the bear eat you oh man. you forgot the wrong you're dealing with the wrong the big problem was never addressed yes sir. and if she keeps both of these deals then she's kept the big part of the problem i'm guessing yep. that the credit card uh, i didn't get that far in it because i'm not going to argue with a caller yeah I'll tell you to do something either do it or don't